Today we are going to be looking at Brick Lane. A street, a street, street located, located 43, 43 miles, miles away from, from us in North London. It is in the borough of Tower Hamlets, which as of 2011 had a population of 254,000. 51.5% of this population are male and 48.5% are female. 28% are between 25 and 34 years old, which is 9% greater than the London average. The ethnic makeup of Brick Lane is 39% Bangladeshi, 31% white British, 13% other white ethnicities, 4% black, and among them are many other ethnic groups. Before moving on to look at the history of Brick Lane, we need to pause for a short ad break. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Red Shadow Legends is an immersive online experience with everything you'd expect from a brand new RPG title. It's got an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of never before seen champions to collect and customize. I never expected to get this level of performance out of a mobile game. Look how crazy the level of detail is on these champions. Red Shadow Legends is getting big real fast, so you should definitely get it in early. Starting now will give you a huge head start. There's also an upcoming special launch tournament with crazy prizes, and not to mention the game is completely free. So go ahead and check out the video description to find out more about Raid Shadow Legends. There you will find a link to the store page and a special code to unlock all sorts of goodies. Using the special code, you can get 50,000 silver immediately and a free epic level champion as part of the new players program, courtesy of the Raid Shadow Legends devs. Go download it now, guys. Thank you for watching. Let's move on to look at the history of Brick Lane. Brick Lane has existed since the 15th century. It was then inhabited by brick and tile manufacturers. Sometime before 1680, the Truman Brewery reopened. There'll be more about that later. French Huguenots immigrated to Brick Lane in the 17th century. They specialised in weaving and textiles and set up a church called La Neuve Eglise. In the 19th century, Jewish and Irish people immigrated to Brick Lane. The Jews set up a Sunday market which still exists today and converted the church into a synagogue. In the 20th century, Bangladeshi people immigrated to Brick Lane. They set up the curry houses which Brick Lane is well known for and converted the synagogue to the London Jame Masjid Mosque. This mosque is referred to as a palimpsest as it has seen different uses over time. Speaking of usage, using the internet can be dangerous, which is why I used NordVPN when surfing Wikipedia for all this information. Staying safe online is an ever-growing difficulty, and you could be exploited by hackers. NordVPN allows you to change your IP address, making you harder to track, securing your privacy. You can even watch Netflix shows that are only available in the USA, here in the UK, by using NordVPN. Check out the link in the description to get 20% off the first few months, and thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now that we're all safe from hackers, let's take a look at something Brick Lane is not safe from. Gentrification. The Truman Brewery was the largest brewery in the world in 1879, but in 1989 brewing was halted as competition drove away business. Since then, the site has been developed into a centre for arts and events, as well as restaurants, bars, workshops and fashion markets. In total, 300 businesses are present on the site. In 2020, a regeneration project to build a shopping mall and corporate offices was proposed. The site is comprised of three plots, which will be developed in the following ways. The car park will be used to build a five-storey building with its offices, shops and a gym. The building with 300 businesses will remain intact but have its ground floor reconfigured to provide new retail units. And the third floor, with a three-storey office building on it, will be refurbished and made two floors higher. Many people reject the proposed redevelopment and the Tower Hamlets Council has received 7,051 letters of complaint and only 79 letters of support. Despite this, the project was approved in 2021. People objected the proposal because it is likely to increase rents which will drive out local people and businesses. Brick Lane has a 66% employment rate, 19% lower than the national average of which 71% of employment is in the service sector. The economy shows signs of decline. In 2014, there were 35 curry restaurants, which reduced to 20 in 2019. The average household income in Brick Lane is between 18 and 20,000 pounds, which is 10,000 pounds less than the Tower Hamlet's average. The borough has the highest income deprivation in the nation. Brick Lane is in the top 30 most deprived neighborhoods in England, being in the top 10% most deprived in terms of crime and top 30% most deprived in terms of health. Education in Brick Lane is average, and this is the best scoring domain for social inequality. This shows that Brick Lane is currently in high deprivation and may enter the urban spiral of decline as crime makes the area unattractive for business. It is likely that the children of Brick Lane will move out and seek a higher quality of life. In their place may come a new wave of immigrants. <laughs>
Not again. Obi-Wan's gonna kill me. Thank <laughs> you.